What's going on everyone? Today we've got part two of our supercar showdown and that means we have a three-way race between some of the quickest front engine sports cars available. If you've watched last week's part one version you'll know that we had a mid-engine winner and this time we're going to find a front engine winner to go up against that mid-engine car. Anyway today's contestants are none other than the classy Mercedes-Benz AMG GTR, the raw and visceral Gen 5 Dodge Viper, and my hometown favorite the Corvette C7 Z06. To keep things consistent, we're going to do the same 30 to 40 mile per hour roll on this 3,500 foot long runway back here. And the winner of this race is going to advance onto part three, which is going to be the fastest front engine car versus the fastest mid engine car. Anyway, let's start by getting to know our contestants a little better. This is the 2020 Mercedes AMG GTR. 577 horsepower, 516 pounds of torque, all from a four liter twin turbo V8. I'd say that's conservative because it definitely punches far above that weight class. Power gets delivered through a 7-speed dual-clutch gearbox built by Mercedes themselves. But the biggest advantage is the active aero and the relatively low drag coefficient despite all that downforce. It weighs around 3,600 pounds, which puts the power to weight at 6.23, if you believe the horsepower claims. In our 6 to 130 tests, we consistently ran high 7s, and even though there's no replacement for displacement, it still sounds pretty mean. Here's the Corvette C7 Z06. Some would call it the last of its kind. 650 brake horsepower and a whopping 650 pound-feet of torque. You get a good old 6.2 liter Chevy small block with a 1.7 liter supercharger bolted on top. Power is sent through a tried and true seven speed manual gearbox and it weighs about the same as the AMG. So power to weight is in the mid fives. But we've heard this story before and we know it runs a 7.8 second 6 to 130 time on a good day. So in theory, it should make for a close race. However, racing isn't just about theory. On the other hand, listening to this exhaust definitely gives me nostalgia. But this is probably the rarest car here, the Dodge Viper TA 2.0. Because even if you can fork up the cash, finding one is a whole different story. Stock, it makes 645 horsepower and 600 pounds of torque. The beautiful thing is that it's naturally aspirated with a V10 that you'd expect to find in a UPS truck. Couple that with a robust six-speed manual and you have a car that King Leonidas himself would be proud of. But of course, this car has a tune and headers, so we're looking at around 700 horsepower. At 3,400 pounds, it's also the lightest of the bunch. Anyway, you get the idea. Let's hear that exhaust. I know this isn't as colorful, expensive, or exotic as last week's lineup, but in my opinion, it's more exciting. Why? Well, because these three are actually cars that I could see myself owning. Obviously a pretty big spectrum of price, power to weight, and drivetrain options, but numbers obviously don't tell the whole story. In a real race, you have to account for reaction time, driver mod, gearing, and a whole bunch of other variables that can change the results. Let's get this party going. We'll do the best out of three with some 40 rolls.
Okay, so I'd say that was pretty much the outcome I was expecting, and the race was really close even up until that last moment. Now, if you've seen the AMG GTR versus the Z06 race video, you'll know that the Mercedes has a ridiculous amount of top end. Even if the Z06 gets the jump in the beginning because of all that torque, the AMG starts to reel it in at about 120 miles per hour. We had data loggers in the Viper and the GTR, so let's take a look at those numbers. The AMG GTR put down a best DA corrected 60 to 130 of 7.76, which is pretty damn quick. That's about a tenth of a second quicker than our initial test of the car. On the other hand, the Viper put down a best corrected 60 to 130 time of 7.7, .7, so it's not that much quicker in this range, but I'm guessing that if we did a 40 to 150 mile per hour time, the delta would be a little bit bigger. As for the Z06, we know that it's a 7.9 second to 8 second flat car all day long with a good driver, but even with a good driver, I think it was outgunned in this matchup. But in terms of the Viper, it was clear that in the first run it missed the gear, and in the second run it was in the wrong gear. But in run 3, all of the stars aligned, and you can see that despite the aero advantage in the AMG GTR, the Viper stayed ahead. Normally because it won 2 out of the 3 races, I would say that the AMG GTR should take the cake, but honestly, the Viper is definitely the faster car, especially when you consider it in our solo acceleration tests. And because of that, I'm going to declare it the winner of our front engine shootout. Anyway, stay tuned because next week, we're going to race the winner from our mid-engine 3x3 against this Viper, and we're going to see who takes the cake there. And if you haven't seen that episode yet, don't forget to check it out. It's going to be in the link somewhere below or on the screen somewhere. I'll see you guys next week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know by leaving a thumbs up and comment below. Also, don't forget to take a look at our merch store and support the channel. And if this is your first time here, check out some of my other stuff. I produce high quality cinematic car content, so if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell icon for new episodes every Thursday. Thanks for watching.